call it. And now we're going to talk, not to the sweethearts, because they haven't, uh, they've missed the bus, as they say. Clary Brown had a track, something like that, didn't she? Baby caught the bus, but else have missed the bus. So instead we have... Christy from the ABC, who's made a huge TV series about the sweetheart, so we'll get her to tell us a little bit about this. Good afternoon, Christy. How are you? Not too bad, Vince. I got the name right in, didn't I? Yes, you did. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. So you must have had a bit of an adventure with the girls, really. How long were you with them for? Uh, about 18 months. We started filming, yeah, about February last year as the first time we went down to Geelong and started shooting some stuff with the girls and putting little bits and pieces together and we kind of cut together a bit of a trailer and started shopping it around to the networks to see if we could get some traction. Then we shot a little bit more and shot a little bit more and before we even had any commitment from anybody and before you knew it, we'd shot nearly an entire TV show before the ABC came in and said, yeah, we'll take it. <laughs> and so how many... Um, is this going to be like um, Neighbours, a 110,000-week series? Or? Oh, wow. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's um, 13 half hours um, that'll be on ABC3 sometime early next year. Right, fantastic. And tell us a bit about you. Where, you obviously um, toured with them around Australia to, to their gigs at, um, of course, Solar Go Go as well. But what did you notice about crowd reactions in the places where you film them? Because, you know, it's, it's quite unusual to see 20, you know, teen and preteen girls playing instruments and performing these tunes you know you expect to see them in school concerts and things but not out in nightclubs and music festivals and things yeah they really do walk that kind of fine line between being professional musicians and still being school kids like it's kind of amazing to see these kids get up and make these crowds just absolutely go nuts and they're like professional, well, they are professional musicians they're getting paid for these gigs and they're touring around and they're also trying to do their homework at the same time. And you went over to the to Europe with them for their tour over there? Yes, we went to Europe with them for two and a half weeks um, in July, so that was good fun and very hard work trying to trafe around after 30 girls, but um, yeah, it was really good fun. And I've been traipsing around after 30 girls all my life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, but yeah, they played some really big gigs over there. They did the Montreux Jazz Festival and the Peretta Soul Festival and the Vienne Arts Festival, um, the Vissoir Arts Festival as well. So yeah, we got some really amazing footage and it's just um, the last four episodes of the show take place overseas because there was just so much drama and stuff happening. Chloe, one of the lead singers, loses her voice um, a few few days into the gigs and it's kind of this big you know will she get her voice back for the kind of grand finale their headlining gig in Peretta and it's it was a really kind of stuff that we couldn't even script better. <laughs> How did the Europeans take to them? Oh they love them it's just so much different to like the Aussie audiences are very kind of sedate in comparison to like how active the especially the Italian audiences get like they just get so much more into it yeah, and they also got to jam with the Barkays when they were over there as yes, well. Yes, yes, a few of them got pulled up on stage for the final night and got to sing along and play along and, yeah, it was really, really exciting to see. And I know, I'm, and I've been reading and I've spoke to Ross as well about the Barkays and they were, like, so impressed that they want them to go to America as well. Yes, yes, um, Uncle Larry, uh, who is the lead vocalist for the Barkays, was uh, very taken with the girls and kind of took Ross aside and was like, you girls would just rock it in America and I want to try and make that happen for you. So we might get a season two out of it. Uh, well, we'll keep our fingers crossed for that because um, it is a great thing that they do down at Matthew Flinders School with these girls because, uh, you know, we've got the future musicians of Australia coming out of Geelong. It's amazing. Yeah, it's so crazy that this little kind of country-esque town, you know, in regional Victoria is producing these amazing musicians to such a quality standard and you know, they're playing with, like, world artists in opportunities that they might never, ever have the opportunity to do again their whole lives. Uh, it's a good start, isn't it? Mm. It really is. And people are queuing up to get into the sweethearts these days. I, I think you have to have a bit of a scholarship now to get in, yeah. Yeah, yeah, they're running a, um, a new kind of music college where they're, like, training up kind of the next generation of sweethearts, and that's where they'll kind of be able to pluck their new talent from, um, the Sweethearts Academy. Um, yeah, so... 
Yeah, I'm really there playing tomorrow night the Sweethearts Down at Cherry Bar. And I reckon that's going to be the most awesome gig, you know, because I've seen them at Solar Go Go a couple of times and they kill it down there. But, you know, this Solar Go Go's not a nightclub where Cherry Bar obviously is, you know. Yeah, we've been told to get there early too. Like, not even we can get our names on the door to um, sneak ahead of the crowd. So if you want to go, you'd better get in early. Yeah, no, it'll be an awesome night. Look, thanks, uh, Christy, so much for coming in and giving us a little bit of insight into what we can expect tomorrow and in the future because I'm sure a lot of these girls will go on and form their own bands and and the like because we've already um, Linda Barry who was an ex-sweetheart uh, has her own little band out there too you yeah know? well thank you very much for having me and if anyone wants to find out any more info about the show they can go to Facebook Heart and Soul TV and there's like little clips and intro stuff about the girls and keep up to date with when we're going to be on air right and I'll put a link on my Facebook page to it so they can all um, get onto because it is folks you've got to get into this I'll play you the Sweetheart's track have a listen to this CD so be careful go the sweetheart soul folks how good are they and you can catch them thursday night down at cherry bar but don't forget you've got to get down early because the place will be rocking and it will be chockers so get in early oh, i haven't got a record